like me personally, I take like heed to like my vernacular, being able to like express myself. Yeah. With you, you was able to always like express yourself. Like so, like like did you always have confidence in like did you do you think that got them the way that you speak got you through life? Man, they say the gift of God is, you know, one of the most important traits you can have mm -hmm. if you have it, or just mm -hmm. communication in general. The number one, number one fear amongst human beings is public speaking. Mm -hmm. That's number one. Mm -hmm. And then I think like snakes or, or heights is behind that, but public speaking. Mm -hmm. So if you can, you know, if you can get comfortable with the number one fear amongst all human beings, then you already got an advantage. Mm -hmm. So whether it's me, whether it's you, anybody that doesn't mind public speaking or, you know, kind of projecting when they speak, not necessarily yelling, but projecting when they speak and mm -hmm. when people can feel you in the room, mm -hmm. then that's already a boost. That's already an advantage. Uh, but this didn't come from nowhere. Uh, I'm going to say this. The best, one of the, the, not one of the best job I ever had in my life was working at Foot Locker. Mm. Cause I'm I'm naturally an introvert, but uh, I've just always been comfortable with like the public eye, I guess you could say. When I was younger, and then it kind of went away in middle school, and it came came back when I played football in high school. But at yeah, Foot Locker, sure. working in sales, you mm -hmm. have to like approach every person in mm -hmm. a way. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like you yeah. have to, and like at first, and nobody want no no matter what store you're going to, nobody likes that sales pitchy type thing. You know, like a For used sure. car salesman type thing. For like sure. Sure. no matter what retail, so. I realized, like, okay, they don't like that. So I had to get, I had to, you know, put my own kind of formula together where I just had conversations with people. Sure. And then, like, towards the tail end of it, I'd be like, yo, I like them, da da da, you got them, by the way, you know, we got da da da. Yeah. And I, that's was, that was my sales pitch, and I was yeah. killing them. And I just got more comfortable and more comfortable with speaking with complete strangers. Mm. You know what I mean? And then I took, you know, like, uh, public speaking courses and whatnot and wow. got, you know, better with, actually speaking up and making eye contact to everyone in the room when you're mm -hmm. speaking and sure. making sure you project, you know what I mean? Sure. Taking away ums. Um, and <laughs> right, right as I said it. But yeah, <laughs> so that was, that That came from that and then actually doing it with the podcast. Yeah. Um, when I first started out, it was bad. Like, I was nervous as hell. 